Former Niqua Valley star Kevin Cordes has come home after winning a gold medal in the 4x100 medley relay at the Olympics. Coming back here to Niqua today, um, you know, taking some photos, uh, you know, just hearing the people that watched and supported me, it's been an amazing experience and I'm, I'm like, I'm honored to, you know, be able to represent Niqua in Naperville. It was at Niqua where Kevin matured as a swimmer. My freshman year, I was, I mean, I was still kind of small, so I don't I was, I was waiting for my growth spurt for sure, uh, so that kind of was always in the back of my mind. I was like, oh, it's gonna come, it's gonna come. Since I wasn't, you know, the best, I had to work really hard to keep up with those guys. Cordes didn't make varsity until late in his freshman season, but his growth spurt came and he set his sights on his first big goal. Ever since I was little, I would be training, you know, at different high schools around the area and you'd see the state championship banners. And to me, that was the coolest thing ever. That if you're a state championship, you get a banner in the high school. So that was my first my first goal ever was to you know be a state champion. Cordes became a state champion his sophomore season, beating out Illinois great Matt Elliott in the 100 meter breaststroke. And his coach Chad Allen certainly recognized his talent. You know, I think I made the comment one time. You know. Most of you here, you know, you're not going to be Olympians. And then I think I made a comment like, except for maybe Kevin, maybe he has a chance. So, you know, I said that, you know, still not completely known, but feeling that, you know, he's one of those that would have a, certainly a good chance of making a run for it. Cordes still stays in touch with his coach and swims at Nequa Swimming Pool whenever he comes home. And he gives Allen and his early coaches a lot of credit for his success. Coming back here, you know, being in the, the lanes you swam in in high school that you did, you know, uh, during high school season uh, at five in the morning, you kind of remember those times when you weren't, I mean, necessarily where I am today. So you kind of reminisce on those times and you appreciate it more and more, the, how, far you, how far you've come, the people that have helped you get there. You know, he's the first person out of Naperville to be a swimming Olympian and it's just a unbelievable swimming town. So for him to take it to that level, you know, it means a lot to Niqua Valley, you know, you know he, and he deserves all the credit for that because he worked hard, put the time in, and now he comes back, he'll talk to our team. He's very, um, very gracious to all of our swimmers, to all of our students as well. One Olympic star that hasn't forgotten where he came from. For Naperville Sports Weekly, I'm Common Enchev. <laughs> Former Niqua Valley star Kevin Cordes came back from Rio a gold medalist. Cordes swam in the prelims, taking home a gold as part of the 4x1 medley relay. He also made the final in both the 100-meter and 200-meter breaststroke, finishing fourth in the 100 and eighth in the 200. It wasn't exactly what I'd hoped for, but, you know, that just gives me extra motivation to make it and, you know, do better next time. But, you know, I got to swim seven times in the Olympic Games, so I'm very proud of that and honored to be able to represent the U.S. His former high school coach, Chad Allen, is certainly proud of Cordes. For him, it was even rarer to do the uh, 100 and 200 breaststroke and final, uh, final in both of those in the Olympics. Only two people in the entire world uh, final in the 100 breaststroke and 200 breaststroke. So most just kind of specialize in one or the other. So, so he's pretty um, advanced for being able to do both of those events. Cordes was part of the relay team that featured Michael Phelps as he won his potential last Olympic gold medal. Michael Phelps, he's the greatest, I mean, ever, so greatest Olympian. Um, to be a part of something he's touched, um, especially his last gold medal, it's an incredible experience. I got a chance to talk with him that, that day for, for about an hour. I was just sitting around and just pick his brain and, you know, he's an amazing guy and an amazing athlete. Cordes also met a pair of NBA champions in Draymond Green and Kyrie Irving, but it happened on accident. So they were going to change on the top floor and we were one floor below. So they accidentally came to our floor, walked into our room. I was just on my bed, you know, just on the computer. And I just see these tall basketball players coming into our room and onto our balcony. And I was like, oh, I think I need to go out there and say hi. So uh, yeah, they, they hung out in our room for about 20 minutes and we got to meet meet them, um, which, I mean, watching them in the NBA and NBA finals and all that stuff, it was, that was a great experience. Next, Cordes sets his sights on the 2020 Olympics in Tokyo, as he certainly has some big goals. Yeah, definitely would love to win an individual medal. Um, you know, you know, all that stuff. Uh, improve on what I did in 2016, for sure. 
He's got four more years. He's a young guy. He'll be pretty much right in his prime for the next Olympics. So I think, you know, a ceiling certainly could be a gold medal, you know, in the 100 breaststroke or 200 breaststroke. A local Olympic gold medalist who probably isn't done winning golds. For Naperville Sports Weekly, I'm Kamen Anchev.